Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here to do your bonus reading. For anybody who's watching tarot readings, I want to just sort of talk a little bit before I get into this reading. And I used to do this all, all the time, have a little bit of a chat. And then I'd find somebody would put the measure of where the reading starts underneath. And I think it's a bit of a shame that people aren't listening because sometimes these little blurbs are very important. Some people are tarot readers. That means they are reading the cards. They don't rely on their intuition or their inner knowing to bring forth additional expression. So sometimes people will just read the cards for what they're meant. And it's very often how a lot of people start with tarot reading. So they see a card and they read the card, then they put the cards together. Some people just read all the cards. They don't put a story into line. So we all do it very differently. Some of us have been communicating with the other side from a very young age, which means when we're reading, we get messages through. Um, some people work with their guides. Some people go over their guides and work with spirit directly. Um, I realized this when I was in my early 20s, when I was stopped in my tracks by a voice that said to me, you are the vessel for divine intervention. That was what I heard. And I started to realize then a lot of the stuff I'd been holding back on and I hadn't expressed was around this ability that I had. I had seen a lot of things as a young child and I'd been raised in a family that were not open to those experiences. So I had a lot of past life experiences as a young person. Um, so what I'm trying to say, I guess, is that we all read differently. Everybody that reads intuitively, reads the tarot. Um, some people don't even know the cards. They read completely intuitively and do not know the meanings of the cards. So it depends on where you're coming from, whether you've traditionally learned the cards and then developed your abilities whether you've always had the abilities from where you're young, when you were young or whether you are learning how to do this now and it's totally irrelevant. I used to think when people talked about the fact that they'd been you know, carrying the gift or working with the gift for a long time that it was more important than people who'd become spiritually aware a lot sooner, a lot more recently. But I'm, I'm not really sure now that that matters. Some people... I suppose it's like any other experience. Some people grow exponentially. They just move so quickly. I've seen people who, I know people who have only started doing this work within the last couple of years that are amazing, truly amazing at what they do. And other people who've been doing it all their life who are fantastic as well. So it doesn't really, I guess, hold any relevance. I think it's about embracing and the experiences you have. We're all born with some ability and we choose whether to move into that energy or not. And a lot of us cover this energy up. Our intuition is covered up by our childhood wounds. Um, we don't trust what's been, what's been shown to us. So it's a matter of us trusting, trusting spirit and allowing them to lead us on this journey. Mine has had lots of twists and turns. And I guess why I'm saying that is because I feel sometimes people feel we are making it up as we go along, which would be great because if I could make it up, I'd be making some fabulous stories up. <laughs> that would be wonderful. It doesn't work that way. So we often channel messages as we're reading. Sometimes there's lots of noise coming through. Other times it's just nice and smooth and we can just wait, work with one person. Sometimes I'm working with your spirit guides. They will be coming through and talking to me so that you get the messages. Just remember that. Um, we don't always have time in a reading to go through and say, Hey, Fred, <laughs> your aunt said, hello, how are you going? And just watch out for this. All right. I've got my deck upside down after talking. Okay, 
I'm using the Santa Muerta tarot here. Okay, so we have coming through here the Six of Wands. I just love the imagery on the deck. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so the Six of Wands is a card that talks of victory. It talks about public recognition. It talks about being seen. It talks about somebody noticing who you are. This could be, you know, somebody sort of finally seeing you for the first time through the eyes of love. It could be somebody seeing you at work for the good stuff you're doing. It could be that you've finally been noticed by work or in your personal life for something that was well done. It could be that you're just being seen after feeling invisible for a very long time. Okay, so I have the King of Wands coming through here. The King of Wands represents Leo, Sag and Aries. The King of Wands is a person who is a born leader. They're a person who has built their own success. And because of that, they have a lovely confidence and a lovely air about their, themselves that comes through in their energies. The King of Wands can represent somebody who's around you. It could be somebody that you you know it could be somebody that you're about to meet here with this six of wands i feel like and don't forget there is no gender in tarot the king is the top of the suit so the king is someone who's worked their way through to the wands energy right to the top i feel like this person's seeing you i feel like you have somebody around you who may be seeing you for the first time and, you know, you can describe this feeling. You know how you sort of, you, you know, somebody's around and you work with them all the time. And then one day you end up in this conversation at work and you look at them and you think, wow, you're a very different person to what I thought you would be. Like I've thought people automatically, we all do it. We make those judgments. And I think this person is like that. And then one day they talk to me and I think, hmm, I didn't really take you for being that type of a person. This person is seeing you here. The Temperance card is here. Now the Temperance card, wow, okay. Big reading again. The Temperance card is the universe's way of saying there needs to be balance in a situation. This may be balance within yourself. It may be balance within what you're doing. But once the balance is found, the vibration is steady, higher, more in alignment then things will happen and that brings divine timing into being. So there's very much this energy of something being right now and ready. Somebody is being brought in for you here. Somebody is being brought towards you. It feels to me like some sort of timing is now right for something to move forward because we have the lover's card coming through here. And I feel this strong sense here that this card is talking about divinely orchestrated love divine two people being brought together in a divine union I feel like the unit the universe is saying it's time all right I have the ten of swords coming through with the sun okay this is such beautiful energy this is sort of some sort of cycle closing out and something new starting up I feel like many of you here are about to receive some sort of attention from a divine partner. Now, I'll get into the reading a little bit more, but I feel like somebody's seen you here. Somebody's finally noticed you. Now, you could have noticed this person before, but maybe they've never shown interest in you. Maybe they've never sort of expressed themselves, maybe even communicated. But I feel like the time is right now for something to move towards union in some way shape or form there appears to be the end of a cycle and something new starting out the sun card is here and the sun card always talks about new growth new times everything being happy joyful feeling like a child again getting a chance to experience the sun and like for me i always say it's that feeling of walking on a beach first thing in the morning when the sun is beaten down on your back and you feel so alive and so invigorated by the warmth of the sun before it gets too hot to burn your skin um, but there's nothing like that feeling at all nothing like that that smell first thing in the morning sun Mm, beautiful. 
something very nice is coming in here. I put a new cloth on my table and it has a wrinkle and it's driving me bananas. <laughs> Get aside. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're going. Okay, so we have here the Five of Cups. Isn't that a pretty strong image? So the Five of Cups is a card of regret and remorse. It's a card of being stuck in the past. There's an emptiness with this though. So I feel like there's some sort of regret, remorse or sadness here that somebody is working with. All right. Okay, we have the page of one's kind. Isn't he a look at that? What a happy little chappy. Somebody's coming in with a message. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords coming through. And the Nine of Wands, wow. Okay, this is really interesting. Considering that opening little mini read was so powerful, this is sort of this energy. And I'm wondering here if this is coming from someone's, someone's energy as it is now. It may be that you've been feeling strongly for someone but have not, they've not moved forward and maybe you're feeling a little bit of sadness here. There is anxiety and stress without any doubt whatsoever. But I feel like it's not part of the mini read. So it's like somebody is coming from this energy prior to this energy coming through. So that there's like this energy of maybe you're or in this energy or your person, whoever this person, King of Wands is, is in this energy currently. Because there's a sadness here that somebody wants to express. There is an anxiety and a worry that this means that taking some sort of chance on sending a message here or communicating with someone will somehow leave them beaten up or disappointed. There is a, a feeling that someone is reluctant to express themselves here, but not expressing themselves is bringing them sadness, but expressing themselves feels to me like they're worried about some sort of rejection or pain coming in here, especially with this Nine of Swords. So there's very much this energy of wanting to speak up about something your person wants to talk to you. They want to at least make contact, whoever this person is. Maybe somebody you know, but I'd say with this energy of the six of wands here, I feel like it's somebody just noticing you. Somebody acknowledging that. But maybe you've been around this person or working with this person. Maybe you're even friends with this person. But this person's tripped up here. It's like they've either been around you for a while and finally realized they have feelings for you or something has changed in this dynamic where they now want to express themselves. But they are scared of rejection here. They are worried about getting hurt. They are constantly working out how to express themselves and it's causing them a great deal of anxiety. But this dis disappointment and sadness about not having what they want here is pushing them to make this to make this communication happen. Hmm. All right. So we have the hanged man. So I feel like your person's been in a bit of a holding pattern here, trying to work out which way to go here. All right. So we have the five of pentacles coming through with the emperor. Oh, I can see what's happened here. Somebody stepped into their power. I have the five of wands. There's a lot of indecision in this reading, though, I've got to say. We do have the tower. Wow, I love that. Look at that card. And then we have the three of wands. I may have to put some clarifiers on this one because the energies are flip-flopping all over the place here. I feel like somebody is ready to speak up. Somebody here 
They may be a secret admirer, they may be a friend who's caught feelings, they may be somebody here that you've been dealing with, but I'm feeling here that they want to express themselves now. You have, may have someone who's very much in love with you and you may be completely oblivious to this. Holy cow. All right. Whoever this person is, is really going through this energy of, well, the hanged man's here. So they're going through this energy of questioning whether now is the right time. And I feel like it's the universe that's trying to pull you two together. So there feels to me some sort of divine union coming in here. But with this tower here, something is about to hit the fan. And there's a release, a big release of emotional outpouring. I feel like whoever this person is you're dealing with has been holding back for so long that I feel like they may burst at the seams. We may have someone just <laughs> exploding. But maybe you've been feeling something towards this person as well. But there's sort of this energy that this is all another person's energy. I do not feel that this is your energy. I feel like I'm talking to the person who's not in the picture. So either somebody started to spiritually wake up or somebody is realizing that they have these huge feelings that they need to express. But there's sort of this energy of fear and then the energy of I can't hold back any longer. Somebody's looking towards the future. Somebody wants a future with you. So they're very, very intent on coming forward. Um, but I want to put some more cards on this because I really want to see why this tower is here. All right, let's have a look. All right, so I have somebody here in the victory energy. This is somebody feeling like maybe finally this person has realized you've seen them for the first time. I feel like you don't know this person well, but it could be that you have a friendship with this person or they could be part of your group. They could be somebody you know that you don't have a romantic attachment to. But I feel like this person with this temperance card is coming into the vibration they need to be in to recognize you. So they may be coming into some sort of recognition here. I have the lover's card here and I feel like in this particular lover's card we're talking about two people who are divinely being brought together. There is a major, there is a life plan here, without a doubt. Something is about to finish here with the ten of swords. May have even finished already but somebody is packing something up. There are lessons being learned here in order to bring forth a new day. Before we go any further, I just want clarity on the tower. Okay, so we have the full card here. Oh, okay. I've already got it. All right, we have the magician. Pulling at random here, and I have two major arcanas. Okay, and the two of wands. Somebody, somebody has stepped into the magician energy. So you've got a person here who's understood... The power is up to them here. I feel like with the Magician card, it's like somebody finally realizing they can manifest something. So there's a, a huge realization that somebody has realized they've got the power to manifest. And look at the look on his face. <laughs> what Do you mean it was me? I've had it all the time. Wow, look at that. Somebody is becoming the Magician here. I feel like there's a leap of faith here. So this person is taking a chance here. But I see the butterfly on his hand and I think this person's been through some sort of transition here. And we have the two of wands. So this person wants to move in a new direction. 
they've chosen a direction here. Somebody has made some sort of choice, but I feel with the tower here, this may sort of knock you off your feet a little bit. I'm actually feeling with this tower that the energy that's coming through from this person in this energy is going to be quite shocking for you. All right, just one more card. There you go, I pulled out the King of Wands. <laughs> I feel like this person stepped into their power. I feel that they are realizing now everything is sitting with them. Maybe they were just sort of hoping things would be up to the universe. Maybe something would happen. Maybe they would be able to, I don't know. Perhaps they were hoping that it would just all happen by itself. And I think they've realized, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we've got the victory card out. Okay, 28. I am strongly feeling that somebody has realized it's up to them to make the moves. Somebody here has grabbed grabbed some sort of opportunity or some sort of energy now to make something happen. So this is success and achievement. This card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievement. Success is on its way and you have a sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. The achievement may be a great outer success or it may be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort toward. Enjoy this sense of accomplishment, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may still be inner work to do. Let yourself be open to victory on every level now. Now, I feel like whoever this person is has done exactly that feel like they've been sort of relying on their outer circumstances to lead the way but I feel like now this person's realized everything sits with them beautiful reading I'll leave you with it thank you